What's up, Eagles fans? Uh, we're going to go through Kenneth Gainwell, fourth round pick. He did not play football for an entire year until he, uh, because he opted out due to COVID. And then he came back and played um, against the Steelers in his first uh, game action. So we can really take some things away here first. Really padded action for him with live tackling so it's really good to see what he can do fourth round pick uh he got time as the third running back of course we saw in jordan howard to begin with miles sanders not, pl not playing boston scott those two did really well then we saw Kenneth gainwell and then came carry on johnson who unfortunately now is out with a knee injury and got waived by the eagles and uh in the end we saw jason huntley we got a lot to see of course we do not have any all 22 tape unfortunately but we can take a lot from the tv copy so let's get to it First play comes here late in the first quarter, and it is an it is a zone to the left side. And what we need uh, to see from um, from Gainwell here is quick decisiveness. So when things is lined up like, as they are right here, everything becomes a, sort of a mess here in the middle. Uh, Pittsburgh have six guys in the box right at that point, and so you have two options uh, if you can Gainwell. You either run straight up here into the D gap next to the tight end, or you bounce it outside in between uh, the guard and the tackle and the B gap. And of course, when you're down this far uh, in towards your own end zone, your main priority is to get some yards. So I think his idea here for running to the D gap right next to the tight end is a really good idea. He does that. He drags 35 with him for about five yards. That's a really good run. Very next play, we're passing the ball here uh, on play action for Gainwell and Pittsburgh Steelers are sending five guys in pressure. They're looping uh, their um, their defensive end to the outside of their uh, excuse me to the inside of their nose tackle. Uh, so Gain, uh, Gainwell is going to be hit by by the defensive end immediately as he's coming up here. Uh, not very in control, but he slows him and gives time for Joe Flacco to level the ball over the middle. Next play uh, in the next series, we see a uh, designed. Um, pass here for Gainwell, who's coming out in the flat with three lead blockers in front of him. Uh, unfortunately, I think there is, is Rager missing the block there at the bottom. Gainwell does a good job of avoiding the tackle immediately as he's catching the ball and get five yards regardless. Next run of the day for Gainwell is uh, another zone here. Zone blocked into the left side. 44 is going to take a good inside angle here of Brett Toth, I believe it is. Um, so the inside really isn't the favorable option for Gainwell as he's receiving the ball here. So he bounces to the outside, just like, displays good speed, breaks a tackle, and gets six yards before it brought down. A draw here, or at least, I mean, it's a very quick handoff for a draw, but they're pass blocking it. Uh, so I guess that is what we're going to call it. And as there's a wide open uh, crease here in the B gap for Gainwell, so exposure dis displays good, um, th good speed here coming up right in the gap, you know, taking what is given to him. And they're just plowing forward for some yards here on first and 20. They need to get some of that back. That's a fine run. Third and five here. And Steelers are sending a ton of pressure uh, also up the middle here. What Gamewell is going to be picking up the linebacker blitzing here inside. He's checking to the outside immediately here first, which I really like to see. See how many is overloading to that side. And you got two on two here, so that's fine. And then he takes on the linebacker here right in front of Flacco. So he has time to deliver a pass. Um, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a deeper pass that he has to that he has to throw here. And that's all about you know the scheme that is being set up on that play. Um, you the one thing you could argue is that you want him to attack him a little bit more instead of wait for him to get all the way back to the quarterback. But if you do that, you don't have time to check the outside. You don't have time to check if, if you have everything covered there to the outside. Um, so that's a give and take. Uh, I like what he did in that rep. Next play here, we get to see Gainwell coming on an angle route covered by the uh, linebacker. Fortunately, he slips a little bit as he's coming out there. It doesn't matter much. He still makes the catch. Breaks the tackle really nicely. Gets a first down 10 yards on a check down.